Hey guys, it's Element. Hope you all are doing well. Welcome back. Um, so today I want to talk about Donnie B all day, also known as D Bad. Uh, that's why this video, just as a fair warning now, this whole video is just me talking. So if that doesn't interest you, you can move on and I understand. But uh, I want to talk to you guys about something very important. So if you stick around, it would be greatly appreciated. So the reason I have these two knives for uh, you guys to just look at while I talk is because these are the two D-Bad designs that I have. This one we designed together. This is the Redemption. And this is the D-Bad Mission 3. Now I'm going to take these out of the sheath for you guys so you can look at the blades. All right. So um, the Mission 3 is... Uh, I'll talk about the knives a little bit so you know what they are. This is the Mission 3, designed by D-Bad, made by the Kukri House. Uh, Donnie set a goal to make recreate the Rambo knives and make them for real-world use. And uh, the Rambo 3 knife was always my favorite. But when I found that there was one available, made in full tang, hand-forged, 5160 steel, super thick, uh, I knew I had to have it. So, and he's got other ones that I want to get eventually. I want to get all of the D-Bad designs eventually, but we ain't rich. So, yeah. <laughs> and then this is the uh, Redemption. It's got oil on the blade, and this one's got some markings on the blade for ha from hacking in the woods. So, that's not rust. That'll just come right off. And this is um, probably a little bit too much oil because I just I want to take care of it so well. Um I drew up this a sketch of this and sent it to Donnie and asked if he could refine it for me, and he did, and uh, I sent it to the Kukri house and had it made, and I also got a tattoo of it on my leg. All right, enough of that, so you guys can look at those while I talk. I want to talk to you guys about Donnie B all day. He is one of the coolest people that I've ever met. I've never met him in person, but I do consider him a good friend of mine now. We've uh, we've talked a lot. We call each other and stuff like that, and we text all the time. He's just a great guy. So um, first off, let's just start with the fact that he uh, he's a combat vet. He fought in Afghanistan and um, and fought in the global war on terror. He was one of the rescuers and one of the people that helped out uh, during the aftermath of 9/11. Um, when they needed people to basically volunteer to go through the wreckage of 9-11 and help with everything that was going on there. So he also helped with that. He, um, he's a knife designer, a knife collector, a knife connoisseur, and he's just um, a really positive guy. And that's the thing I like the most about him is he's a really positive guy and he just has a great outlook on life you know he doesn't let too much get to him or bother him he's just uh he's just living his life the best way he can and that inspired me so when i came upon his videos about two years ago i uh i was in a bit of a place myself um mentally that i didn't want to be in and um through watching his videos every day i, I found them inspiring because he like i'm a knife guy too and he's a knife guy, but he just had this way about him where uh, every video he did, he just was like hilarious and and uh, and just excited about life. You know what I mean? And 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 it got me thinking. You know, I, you know, things aren't so bad. You know, I I, I could be more excited about life. And two years later, now I'm good friends with him, and I have a YouTube channel um, that I started that I started up. Um, now I did start it up about two or three years ago, but I only uploaded one video and then I scrapped it and I forgot about it. He is the reason why I got back into YouTube again. And, uh, to me, that's just a pretty big deal. I used to have a YouTube channel years ago. I mean, years ago, it was under a different name. It's deleted now. Well, I shouldn't have deleted it because those were good memories, but, uh, I did. I just had other life passions and things come my way and I just moved on from it. But uh, I want to get back into it, you know what I mean? All right, so let's talk about Donnie again. Donnie is having some health issues and um, frankly, they're quite serious. And, you know, I, ta I spoke to him on the phone and um, I think it seems like all of us are a little bit more worried than he is because he just, 
he just wants to live his life and he's not going to let shit get to him too bad and he any he, any he said he you know he's he's made peace with who he is and you know his life and whatever happens happens he's not going to let it slow him down and he's not going to freak out and worry about it and i'm not saying i'm freaking out or worrying and about it but you know i do have my concerns and i just want him to be healthy and not have this issue period so what can we do about it there's a couple things we can do about it one you can donate to him because he's selling all of his knives, well, a huge portion of his collection to get money for healthcare. No one wants to see someone sell off their whole collection when they're passionate about their knives, you know what I mean? So I, I don't want to see him sell all his knives. Um, I don't think anybody wants to see that, but you know, he's uh, trying to make up some cash, so he's selling his knives. So there's one thing you could do. You could go and you could buy one of his knives. But if you don't want to do that and you would like to see him keep his knives, you can donate. Now, he has a PayPal link um, in his description or you can comment and ask him for it. Or you can donate directly on his page. Um, or if you want, you can ask me and I will ask Donnie if it's okay and I can pin his PayPal link in the comments of this video. Um... So that's 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 the first way is to donate or buy a knife. The second way is that uh Scab Choir Boys Cutlery, he is doing a knife raffle. And um Jed Hornbeak and uh he's a renowned knife maker, superb knife maker. He is donating one of his knives that is worth a whole lot of money. And there's going to be other knives involved and you can basically buy tickets um to try and get uh get get your hands on some cool knives and the proceeds are going to go to Donnie okay so that's that's the second thing um and the third thing is uh I'm working on something right now I don't want to say too much about it yet in case it doesn't work out but I'm going to try my best um but I'm I'm trying to do some stuff in the background so um so really I guess it's just the two things you can do right now donate well three things donate to Donnie on his PayPal or by YouTube, you can donate in the description or under, there's a little box where it says donate. Um, you can buy one of his knives or you can go in the knife raffle. Those are the three options. And then uh, I'm trying to work on something here. So anyways, um, thanks for watching guys. Go, uh, go, go visit Donnie B all days YouTube channel, you know, subscribe to him, comment and uh, just, just uh you know if you're if you're a part of this community um you know we all help each other out we try our best and uh that's 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 all we can do at the end of the day is just be there for each other so um Donnie love you man you're awesome um fight the good fight brother take care guys